हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून डियर पार्टिसिपेंट्स एंड आवर इनवाइटेड स्पीकर बाला सर गुड आफ्टरनून बाला सर गुड आफ्टरनून सर ओके सो यू 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 कैन ऑन योर वीडियो सर yes 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 okay thank you sir for accepting our invitation uh, so before uh, proceeding uh, i just uh, want to brief my audience that uh, we have a functional e cell the galgot university has functional e cell and established in 2016 as well as we have established our uh, innovation institute innovation council in uh, 2018 we have conducted uh, approximately uh, 35 uh, program in 18 19 academic year we have conducted uh, about uh, 58 events in the academic year of 19 20 we have also conducted more than 70 program in academic year 20 21 and this year in 2021 we have also achieved quarter 1 and quarter 2 activity of uh, ministry of education iic in this semester we have also organized about 17 activity related to the self driven activity mic driven activity as well as calendar activity so i would like to welcome my uh, our speaker professor bala murgan professor bala murgan is currently working as professor in the school of computing science and engineering at galgotia university greater noida his contribution focus on engineering education blockchain and data science his academic degree and 12 year of experience working as a faculty in a global university like vit velour he made his him more respective and prominent in his domain he does have 20 200 plus high impact factor in springer eljevier and itripali he has done more than 50 edited and authored book in collaborated with the eminent professor across the world from the top qs ranking professor bala murgan has served up, up to the position of associate professor in his stint of 12 year of experience he has completed his bachelor master and phd degree from the top premier institute of the india his passion is teaching and adopt different design thinking principle while delivering his lecture he has published more than 30 books on various technology and visited 15 plus country for his technical course he has several top notch conference in his resume and has published over 200 of quality journal conference and book chapter he served in the advisory committee of several startup and forum and does consultancy work for the industry as well he has given about 175 talks in various event and symposium he is currently working as a professor and chief research coordinator at galgot university so i would like to welcome our speaker professor bala murgan over to you sir um thank, thank you dr gaurav sir for a very kind words it, it is uh, indeed my pleasure to do a program for institutions innovation council headed by you sir and i also thank uh, honorable vice chancellor ma'am and other dignitaries for letting me to speak so please kindly allow me to share my screen so that i can start my lecture sir yes sir you can uh, share your screen
ओके एंड आई थिंक माय पीपीटी इज विजिबल सर यस सर यस सर ओके सो आई एम ऑडिबल ऑल दैट स्टफ इन केस इफ आई एम नॉट ऑडिबल यू कैन जस्ट गिव मी अ कॉल आई हैव माय फोन नियर मी सर ओके एनीवे वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून ऑडियंस वी हैव ऑलमोस्ट 90 three audiences almost 100 and quickly maybe when we go for the introduction we will get more people and many are waiting in the waiting rooms also okay so like uh, you would have seen a multiple number of webinars that are on startup india or how to do a pitching of an idea or how to like look for angel funders or how you have to go for uh, innovation how you have to go for ipo or all this stuff but uh, when i was speaking to uh, dr gaurav i was like asking him why can't we do a lecture uh, on how to do a registration on startup india uh, like you have a website called startup india that is uh, promoting all the startups in india or people who are saying outside india coming to india and doing any kind of uh, like startups so uh, not many lectures have been happened this way so uh, we are experimenting with this lecture where i'll be helping you uh, like and saying like what are the things that you need to have a startup okay. so like when you go for uh, top us universities like uh, harvard massachusetts oxford and top universities where uh, students and faculty studies we can see most of the faculty will have startups uh, and i think you agree with it because uh, startup is not a business kind of thing but it's part of the innovation activity you are doing and it is not only concerned with money please understand it startup yields money but it is not only concerned with money it is concerned with innovation so if you are really an innovator and if you want to grow your innovation then you should be having an idea so mostly like people are going for patent or people go or going for research purpose or people are going for uh, any other kind of uh, project activities but uh, like they put a lot of energy into it but they don't materialize it they just stop doing a patent or they just stop doing a paper or end up doing a project they don't record it okay so like uh, this was been happening for long years so uh, the government of india has decided okay so why can't we materialize the innovations that we are doing like in western countries so if you take western countries Uh, all the startups that are number 1 2 3 like uh, if you take facebook or uh, google or apple all have been decided during their graduate days okay so when they were with their alma mater like maybe stanford university or harvard university they thought about a small idea and they pitched upon idea they found the right investor and they made this kind of profits okay so not only about that but they have changed the way by means of uh, their disruptive technology so they have or some disruptive technologies and with the help of this uh, uh, disruptive technology they have changed the whole world and i don't want to speak about uber or i don't want to speak about zomato all that stuff because you would have heard lot and lot from multiple lectures okay got it so like why a person needs to have a startup okay so like you can ask me like uh, why i need to have a startup and why i need to register through government of india so if i want have an idea i will implement myself and i can just go through it so you can think like that but it's not that easy so for example you manufacture a shirt okay so you just call it uh, a thermal shirt or something it may be available in the market but still you manufacture a thermal state uh, a shirt and you want to sell it in the market so where you will sell okay so you just imagine you make 15 shirts of it like you have self stitched yourself you have uh, some thermal coatings inside it which so the shirt can be charged and once it is uh, on or off buttons can be kept and once it is on you will be getting the needed heat that is uh, uh, that will make you warm that will keep you warm during your winter days so if it is a concept like that so okay you have done it you have done extend thorough research over google you have found out the sensors that are needed you have kept it you have even made a prototype everything now it's okay so when you put in a market you can't go to the streets and sell even if you go to the streets and sell in footpath it is not easy okay so there are certain norms people will uh, not only people the authorities will ask who gave you the permission to sell it or if you want to go to sell in a shop 
Okay, the, again, there is a lot of problems coming up in terms of finance, like what about your GST, what about your taxes, uh, who made it, what about your design rights, everything. Okay, so in order to uh, like, like give a full stop to all this stuff and make sure your product is getting to the market very easily, we have Startup India. Now you should have understood it. Otherwise, nobody need to do any registration or no need to have any SIN, PIN or TIN numbers or any Udyo Kadar number. Okay, so it's not necessary. But once you want to scale up your business from just an income, have to follow a certain process so that you will not be stuck somewhere. Okay, so we are going to see how this process of registering this startup will help you to make this much better. Okay, let's go to the topic. So I have given my number also. So you will be able to, you can just take a snapshot of this. And if you have any doubt, you can WhatsApp me or if you want to discuss about any innovative ideas for startups, you will be able to connect with me. And I also have given my email ID. All right. So uh, let's uh, go to the website. So I, as I told, it is a live thing. Like I'm going to the website of Startup India. Okay, so, so how you can go like, so you can go to Google. Okay, so I'm going directly to Google. Typing Startup India. Okay, got it. So it comes if you're feeling lucky, automatic or not, still it will come as the first site because it has a very good page ranking. Okay, so this is the website where we are going to deal with today. And I'm going to explain each and every part of this web website. Okay, so something is popping up. Let's see, like, so they are already calling applications for all the startups uh, that has been done before and they are going to give an award for it. Okay, so they are uh, ready to give an award for all the startups. Okay, so how they measure it, which software, uh, which startup has already got the product to the market and uh, which is already a hit and they have paid all the taxes and they have uh, done all the regularities and they have com uh, complied with all the process, schemes and policies, all the stuff. Okay, lot. We will, later we will see about the awards, National Startup Awards that was given on during January 2021. And it was awarded for startups basically that has come during 2020. Okay, so I will also give you a brief about the companies that were awarded. So you will be getting to know easily. So what kind of startups are, going, are already hit because giving an award by Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Okay, MCA is not that easy. Plus, uh, the Department of uh, for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade. Okay, we call as DPIA. Okay, so they carefully segregate and they will give it. Okay, so let's close about it. So this is the website, and this website is under the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. This is it may be a general knowledge, but still you should know it. Okay, so and this website has multiple languages and I'm choosing uh, English. Okay, let me go about the website. So they, this Startup India has been uh, from a long time, from 2015, 16 onwards, okay, got it, but, and it has been optimized, okay? So like you can see uh, when I show you the PPT, you will be knowing what are the documents they were asking long back has been cut down and they were, uh, they are asking very less number of documents now so that making, uh, the startup culture better in India so that people will not be going here and there. So it's an one in all in one website where you can see that. But so like uh, you can see about about like so you can what is this portal? They have given a complete reading about the portal. Okay, so like uh, this website can be used for you to network. For example, what do you mean by network here at the site? It's like if you have an idea but you do not have money to make the idea happen or make a prototype happen you can find out angel investor out there and they have given their name address and all that stuff and they are also have given their likings okay so i am right uh, right now interested to 
uh, invest in edutech technologies i am uh, like liking to invest in agriculture technology or agriculture i want to uh, look out for some healthcare technology so they have their own likings and they have certain things where they can invest for you okay so networking is very much easy or you want to make a product and you are good at particular skills and do you want to collaborate with somebody else who uh, is in need of some other particular skill which you have but he has a varied skills so this kind of collaborations can happen okay so and after that there are a lot of challenges that are happening like how we have smart india hackathon here in startup india also there are multiple challenges of making an idea or making a product out to the market happens so as a student you will be able to participate in that as a faculty you can mentor the students to participate in it and make sure they win the contest okay so it doesn't only bring you academic laurels but it also will bring you uh, the ultimate pitching for you to get into a start okay so and after that this can also be used for accessing lot of tools got it so what do you mean by tools here so if i want to go for a registration or if i want to find out a physical space for my startup or if i want to tie up with an industry so that i can make a small part of for a car which has been done innovatively so here i can access uh, multiple industry and lot of other ministries that are attached with commerce ministries are also part of this website so we will be able to access all that so i am repeating again we can network we can participate we can access all that stuff and here if you see who can so who can come into this website and who can register you okay so when we see this we can easily find out we can have startups uh, people uh, like coming here and you can uh, like you have here 50000 plus startups here okay do not forget we have 50000 plus startups here okay so we can the investors who likes to invest here can also be part of this okay so who can come into the website who are all of very use useful when this they look at this website okay so you can see people who wants to have startup can come into this website who want to connect with other startup ecosystem they can come into this website and who want to invest in other startups they can come into this website so they are called as investors so like they can be an individual investor or institutional investor you are hearing like uh, like uh, bigger companies like tata brilla or uh, reliance they are looking for smaller startups and they are ready to invest also not only them there are a lot of other people so there are mentors okay so who already have knowledge of startups they have done some um, projects they have done some products so they are also here so you will be able to network with, uh, with them and you will be able to know like what kind of advice should be done because it's not only tech technological or innovation type but since money is also involved it also need extra care and since you are going to take it into market so you need extra knowledge which you do not have much maybe or it can be acquired from other people so 
all these people are very much needed after that you have incubators so you know about incubation like uh, incubation is a space where you can like make your idea into a product and then get it into a normal limited company but so you will be able to incubators can also be part of this website they can have the registration done and they can connect with government private or institutional incubators so any institution can also have um, in, uh, like incubators so most of the good universities top universities they have tbi technology business incubator even our university is going to have in very soon like then we have accelerator so you, uh, there are three terms that are used like startups incubators and accelerators okay so they take different forms okay so how fast they scale up and get the product into industry accordingly they have divided okay then a lot of uh, government bodies also part of this you can see like there are 30 plus government body or here got it so like ministry of agriculture ministry of commerce and industry ministry of science and technology ministry of home affairs ministry of agriculture ministry of science and technology electronics and information technology ministry of chemical and fertilizers ministry of skill development like that there are so many people are connected here because whenever you do a certain kind of business uh, using a, a incubation or startup you have to somehow overlap with any of these industries so there might be a possibility if you are making an uh, organic fertilizer uh, as a part of your startup and this fertilizer is, is to be sold out in the market so it, you can't just sell it easily but there are certain approvals and sanctions that has to be done by multiple uh, people who are uh, industries or uh, like uh, government agency who are concerned with it so you have to go through it and understand it okay for this all these people there will be a spoc from each of this ministry connected here and it will be helping for network okay so you have to go through each and everything of the uh, website to understand more Okay, so like, uh, let me go for the startup. Okay, so when I click on network and I click on startup, so you can find out all the startups that have been gone through the process of registration, getting all the steps done and already getting it running. Okay, so uh, you can't say all the startups may be successful. Okay, so and I'm also giving you a caution that most of the startups are not very successful, got it? but uh, some of the uh, like i can say like more than 20 to 30 percent of the startups are very successful because they're very serious others just register and have their numbers uh, uh, for any other purpose but if it has been rightly done then all the startups will become a proper full-fledged company okay so when i see this list you have almost 188,040 startups here the overall startups and you can filter the startups by means of the state. Okay, so if you go for um, uh, southern states or northern states, the way they are looking at the innovation is uh, very different. Okay, so you can categorize according to industry also, they're given a proper thing. Okay, so there are startups related to uh, education, startups related to enterprise software and even management, startups, fashion, finance technology, foods and beverages, green technology, healthcare, life sciences, normal household services, landscape startups, IoT, logistics, marketing, media and entertainment, nanotechnology, non-renewable energy, other specialty retailers, and it goes on. Passenger experiences, Startups based upon pets and animals, professional commercial services, real estate, renewable energy, robotics, social impact, sports, technology hardware. I can see a lot of startups on technology hardware, basically with IOTS background. Toys and games, travel, waste management. So you can even understand by seeing the startup what kind of projects you should be doing in your university. Okay, so. This will not only will give you a startup idea, but you will be very much aware of what kind of things are going in the startup culture. So you will also know what kind of products will come to the market. 
okay so now if you are if somebody is having a startup within one or two years they will be coming out with an outcome that will be coming as a product outside got it so you can get a in a to z of the soft uh, like startups and it is also concerned with the city okay so if i am going for a city and we have already got a news before a week that delhi has become a number one in startup culture beating bangalore got it so you can easily find out what are the uh, startups that have been happening in delhi okay let me click it and we can understand it so i am going for the d series after a and b and d a is gone and i have d e with us so you can see all this startups okay so like they have also given you different statements here for example reformist reformist food private limited you can see it is in scaling phase sri om enterprises it is an ideation phase you got it so um like uh, vikram aditya the name of the company is like that you have in early, uh, early traction state got it so like that you can easily find out what phase people or the companies are there okay so you you have to understand the words got it so like that you can filter everything and you can find out got it let's go to the next space we were here of the website okay so we saw how to network how to participate how to access and i told you that here all these people can be together startups investor mentors incubators accelerator and common bodies got it so i clicked up on startups already and you can understand let me go for the investor okay so you have this many number of investors here and they have clearly given you uh, like what are the things they are expecting or so for example somebody is interested to invest in analytics advertising ar vr that is argumented and virtual reality automotive so they have given so if uh, they have given the names all that stuff let me check somebody is interested in financial technology okay so you just go to the page so they have given uh, they have given completely about the guy who wants to invest so like they have given the email id and they have registered themselves with sebi got it so they have given a term called sebi in register okay so if you want to become an investor you can uh, like go to sebi website and you can register also so got it so you have for that you can go there is a recognition form for that you will be able to apply here but this is uh, like uh, out of our topic but i just want to keep an open and so that you will be knowing okay what is what okay so so security is got it anil like he is an explorer and he is also an investor okay and he has a company himself which will be investing and he is focusing on financial technology okay so what do you mean by financial technology there are a lot of companies that understand finance that uh, doing analytics on finance or doing security for financial transaction like blockchain bitcoin all that stuff so somebody is in all net okay so uh, like he is also a consultant who will be doing consulting e-commerce uh, markets uh, place all that stuff got it so they have given the overview of him and they have given clearly his uh, phone number and point of contact okay so please check not many people uh, can uh, will go through this website line by line but if you are serious and if you have really an idea you will be able to search and he will be searching and they have given the point of contact for him and they have given his phone, uh, phone number but also if he has a number and like that you will be able to see multiple things here got it so from here we went so i am going back okay i am going back to the 
होम पेज अगे got it so we so okay so man if you have some doubts like how to design a product so you have an idea but you do not know how to design the product okay so i have an idea of a pencil so which if i write in the year still it will be like noting everything in a pen drive that is kept over the pencil so i have an idea like i, I have understood the technology so maybe by keeping a motion sensor whatever i write it will be able to uh, find out all that stuff uh, and i have done but uh, i have it in, in a place like that it is in a non usable like uh, in a non usable or feasible state so it is just a working model it may be looking very odd okay but if i need to make a design of it so who i have to contact got it so otherwise so if i want to sell it to market first uh, how i have to manufacture it where i'll go to sell what is the supply chain that already exists how i can put my product over the supply chain but so like that many doubts will be there okay so in order to get the doubts cleared they have given you mentors so who may be also an investor but also a mentor himself okay so when you go for this uh, mentoring you can see multiple industry mentors again uh, i read out uh, a lot of keywords to you before 5 minutes talking about chemical computers and construction design materials education all that stuff got it so taking that into account they have almost 700 plus mentors who are formally equipped to solve your doubts clear your doubts and solve your problem okay so let me click on someone uh, like who was like put on the first place okay so like you can see the profile of this so if you are going to make an agriculture technological problem or if you are going to work on animal husbandry or dairy farming okay which is also a part of the startup or um, like feeding an animal very easy or uh, like making a process in animal husbandry very easy so you can connect with this person uh, mr padma kumar anand krishnan got it so like you can see like he is having 30 plus years of corporate experience in bigger companies like microsoft in the sunny liver uh, htc all that stuff okay got it so like he will be giving a training or he will be giving an enterprise consulting or startup coaching or leadership or behavioral training got it so like you can uh, like get things from him all that stuff okay so like so you can see he not only works here he works for all ideation okay. validation and uh, early traction got it and he is focusing on much of sector much the sectors got it so like that we be okay to sit so like uh, the other thing is like you also can have your own startup with them or they can have independently an international startup in india what so like you can see like you have a yeah, lot of mentors here which can be used okay so when you are free you can just go through for example if you are interested only in uh, agriculture Sir, based technology or something else, then you can find out. These are the mentors are as I have filtered in agriculture. Then after that, if I am going to for a sector, okay, so if I am taking for any sector, first industry is there. I can go for agriculture tech. I can get only the people who are there. Then stage, what stage? I want to go for mentoring ideation stage or validation stage or al retraction stage or scaling stage. Scaling means like if I want to make a full fledged company. so like you are looking for some winner badge uh, like you are somebody has won that uh, kind of challenges or hackathon kind of events okay so if i am going for any one such like that i can find out people out there also okay and i can also choose by state and cities okay i think uh, you are okay with this mentoring part okay so i am closing this tab
okay so now we are going for incubators okay already there are a lot of incubators that are there but so for example you can see that if you want to means um, if you want to work in an incubator or startup that is also possible but you should need to know the list of incubators that are in india okay so here you can easily know so uh, uh, like uh, banari institute of technology bit tba they have okay so they are focusing on ar vr kind of technology not let me click on it but so this is as i told banari institute of technology so they have a government sponsored tba so they, they have written government funded tba okay so they have got um financial support in 2007 got it so like they are working towards agro industry in rural sectors but so like so you can see the full reality agriculture artificial intelligence green technology and they are focusing on certain sectors like uh, agri tech animal husbandry daily farming fisheries food processing all that stuff and they uh, have all the startup stages they have the ideation stage validation stage early traction and scaling stage okay so you can even understand what kind of work they are coming out of this incubator please understand it so these are the some startups that would have been done by the students or faculty so combination of both both okay so you can go to this website and also see okay what kind of startup has come out of this tb now you understand it technology business incubator is a place from which all startups originate okay so in incubates got it so this is something uh, that they have that startup has uh, done okay so they have already got lot of products you can see like you can see okay like this it, it keeps going so i i was just taking the one startup uh, incubator like the mini startup incubator let's see someone uh, uh, in noida or great noida or someone in great noida let's check who are having it sorry okay, so interrupt could... bala sir sorry uh, you yeah. you can off your video sir because your bandwidth is low so yes yes thank you sir. okay thank you sir thank you see uh, when we go for noida we can see this kind of um, startups are going up okay so these are that okay so this has these are the places of incubation so what uh, as a student you can ask me a question sir what i need to do by this incubation you can easily find out what are the products that are being done in this uh, incubation okay and there is a possibility of employment in it or an internship in that tba also because they have projects so uh, like if you take uh, the top nrf rank university they have uh, incubator see you can have amitis technology incubator let's check it what is uh, that they have okay so you can see easily like so they focus on ar vr agriculture chemicals all that stuff you can see that and you can see their portfolio and other companies that has come out here you can see uh, a plenty of startup already in there okay so they have entered this incubation in september 2020 okay so let's check on this so that you will understand how this happens okay so this guys have come out some with a product called pdoc okay so like what is that they are doing they have affordable remote diagnosis solution they have real time diagnosis using audio visual symptoms what do you mean by audio visual symptoms so if somebody you have a zoom call running now so what if it's the speaker or other people cough so is there any equipment that is available as a part of zoom coding which will say like okay this guy is having certain disease the way i speak I can find out my modulation and i can find the help okay so that is how not physically understanding but uh, with the help of the audio they are understanding uh, like that okay so they have done so much of things like that okay and most of the products i can see like uh, it is based upon artificial intelligence 
Okay, got it. So like uh, they are using AI. See, so you can see as I said rightly, AI can now identify cough and up. Like uh, let's see the products they they have. So, so they have some products, and I hope they have put it into use. So they have mobile where you can cough. This is the normal idea, and they have also given. some sound test automatically so it's a live example i think they have given so you will be able to understand and do this okay so they have given also the sample okay let's test it <coughs> so i just coughed it uh, this test analyzes your cough using a to detect covid 19 your cough is compared against 5000 existing covid positive coughs to detect this pattern okay so test covid let me check okay got it so like you can see that so they are analyzing my cough let me check for the result okay so uh, we have 40 Nine percent done. Okay, so you can see that. So this logo, so you can see, the patent is pending. Okay, so it means they have made a product, and after that they have almost understood it. Something went wrong. So okay, let's not waste time on it. Okay, so they have done uh, a patent on it, and they have filed it, but they haven't got it published. Or it means like, for example, if I can. understand how their code works and i can do another product on my own then i can sell it much better than them if i have a better marketing skills so in order to avoid it whenever they have an idea they will be parallelly patenting it please understand it they will be patenting it okay and you have another logo okay recognized by government of india they have given dpt iit so i already told about dpt iit what is dpt iit department of promotion of industry and internal trade okay dp iit do not forget it because it is not just a word but you have to understand it okay so this means this startup is registered with mhrd startup india and they have also given a got a sanction letter from dp iit and they are also having a patent for the technology which they are using it okay so now they have clearly clearly said what kind of things they are using okay so they are using artificial intelligence powered by Arti uh, google ai means uh, anybody can use a collab or any other google ai components to make it better and uh, they are using this logo made in india which is again a sellable point whenever you use this logo it's going to be really sellable across any other part of the globe okay so if you make a global product Okay, it can be a small app or it can be a big turbine. You are going to manufacture whatever it is by means of an idea. It's going to okay. So they have uh, done this under the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology because this is coming under Computer Science and Electronics. Got okay, got it. So they are mighty startup here, and they have incubated this product under Amity University, and they also have got some collaboration with. other institute or hospital so it's a healthcare product you got it now you can see okay you can understand the whole ecosystem how this if you are making a product there are a lot of sanctions and clauses that has to be followed and we are following it also i am closing this okay so this was we went to the incubation of amity university and we saw some of this then okay let's go to the gallery not many is there got it Okay, so I'm closing this. I'm closing this. Okay, so back to pavilion. Got it. So uh, we have seen about startups, investors, mentors, incubators, accelerators. So now you will get slowly you will understand it. Okay, so these are the accelerators that are there. But so you can see there are accelerators in your your place of. living also you can have almost there are 150 plus accelerators 
again i am going to see something in noida got it so you can see this or the accelerators that are there in noida let me check upon this jss you got it so jss again um, they have this accelerator okay so it is again a information technology business incubator so they have started in 2000 and they are working upon innovations and plug and play facility all that stuff they are working on computer vision what do you mean the computer vision you all know about it like how i go going to make use of your yeah, ecosystem for ear vr or 3d modeling or image reconstruction to happen okay so that technology financial technology all that stuff and they can see the not much happening i think so or maybe they would not have accepted they have current incubators you can see that okay so i think this information is more than enough for you okay got it got it so we are only in the abort state we have seen so much of understanding of this process of this got it okay so you have a knowledge bank for startups what do you mean by knowledge bank okay so not many people as a student will even know the keywords got it so there are certain buzzwords or keywords or uh, slangs that are used in different different places for example if you are in research then you will be uh, the buzzwords or keywords may be impact factor citation snr value h index these are something every researcher knows and if you are in coding uh, you will be uh, using your words like github like uh, platforms ecosystem or like id like like that many jargons that are used by mostly coders and if you are in academics you will be using certain jargons like that when you want to go for a startup another thing there are certain jargons which you will learn only by connecting with people who are oriented towards incubation uh, like startup and all that process got it so this website will be functioning as a knowledge bank for all the startups and all the services whatever you want it's a one step website i told like or so like how you have a netflix where you want to watch any genre of movie similarly the startup india will have everything inside it so every template so everything is templated means whenever you want to do a process it has to be templated so every templates for every situation right from hr thing or finance or customer support or customer complaint um, like regressal or any lawsuits or if you have a partner and they want to go off a park anything can be done inside it so i as i already told you all the ministries including the law ministry are part of the startup india so everything is there got it so you have online courses you can be able to so if you are not even having an intention to have a startup still you can be part of it and you can use this as a learning platform got it so you also have innovation challenges happening very frequently okay so and they have given very good faqs what is startup india how do investors add values to startups and what kind of tax assumptions the startup india will give to the investors and how to raise funds how to recruit talent you just need not to even have idea there are people who have idea inside there are people who have money inside there are people who can do product so you can be a liaison agent to combine all these people together to come out with some targets also so marketing activity people all are there so why you have to invest in startups they give a very good thing because um, you can see it is very outperforming and you can get 75% of the results how to have a regist uh, registration in the hub which we will be doing lively i will show you how to register all this stuff but without understanding the basic if you just use it as just creating a email id then it will not be useful okay how to connect with other people 
So how a foreign company, for example, you just imagine there is a company in Italy. It's a very good startup. They have they have all the concept prototype ready. So same thing they can't sell in India unless they do register their product and process through Startup India. So how to do that? Okay. So if you are an Indian, you will be giving your Aadhaar card, PAN card number. But if you are an NRA, what you have to give? And if you are a non uh, like non citizen of India, what you have to give? Everything is clearly written on the FAQs. Okay. So we are done with page one. Okay. You can see this resources. Got it. So when you go for this resources, you can see plenty of courses here. Uh, I was just checking the courses. What kind of courses are there? And all the courses are really good. Like I went through some courses. I found it very interesting. And most of the courses, uh, like, like even they have courses on how to use uh, social media to transform your product. And they have how to become an entrepreneur till managing security, finance, HR, all that stuff. Okay, got it. So you they have categories of lectures and again all the categories whatever you mention are already given so you can make use of it and in the resource they have given an ultimate book okay so by reading it you will be able to understand everything all right so like um they also do have a blog site where you can write about it your thoughts all that stuff and your name and your galgotia's university name also will be reflected there so that might be worth one dollar worth of uh, contribution towards this big uh, contribution made by very senior people but still it is a contribution got it so you can see all the resources uh, they have given like uh, uh, other submits like param like they have given an international submit so you can just go through it again got it so if you go for resources they have given all the reports so like if you want to file a patent, so I need not to go anywhere. So I can just click on it, and I will I will be redirected to uh, IPR Office of India, or I can say like IP India. Okay, so that is again under the Department of Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade. So DP IIT. Okay, which we are already mentioned third time. Okay, so here I am cl clicking. Okay, so I have list of facilitators for patent and design filing. Okay, so they have a new scheme under that how to file it. But so like if I'm designing something, okay, so we have different types of patents available. I want to say at this moment. So what are the types of patent? We have innovation patent, utility patent, design patent. Okay, so if you are designing a pen, your novel pen, or if you are designing a novel water bottle, or if you're designing a novel chair, and you claim that should belong only to me and like I'm going to manufacture this chair. So what you have to do, you before you make a product out in the market, you have to like patent it. Okay. So you have to design patent it as it is a design of the chair. Okay. So once you do the design patent, it means like even if you put in market and it can be easily um, like copyable or it can be like made redundant or it can be easily edited to make a better one. Still, you will have the core copyright. Okay, so who you have to add or who you have to like look at, uh, who are the facilitators they are available for patent and design. Okay, so they have given what? Complete details. Or they have given the email ID and phone number. They are just one step away to you. Okay, so this patent guides. So they will be able to patent it. Let me check. So many people in Greater Noida. I can see that. All right. And if you want to do a patent on pharmaceutical, this guy is all there. And this uh, people are registered people with government of India. So they might be a patent agent or patent attorney got it so you can go to them and you'll be able to do that okay so in the resources they have given list of patent facilitators if you want to have a logo for a company or a trademark who are the people who are known to it i don't want to click it again so market research report 
so this is something is uh, i saw is really nice for it so at at the same place you have so much amount of knowledge like i feel really uh, it is just a digest like very easy okay and there are top organizations that are concerned with startup and economics of india like nascom you can even be part of nascom and you can be like all a member of nascom there are other things like tai fiicci like that many uh, big uh, like forums or this or uh, forums or that but so you will be able to like uh, like uh, talk with them or meet them and understand what is the thing that they are uh, having okay got it so like i clicked up on this let me go for uh, startup ecosystem surveys and best ideas okay so now it is asking since i am in this website for a longer time it is asking me to register okay so let me register i have um, already registered okay let me log in so you can use your gmail facebook twitter anything to log in there is no problem and it i need not explain you the steps because it's just a small registration form and it doesn't ask you anything at all got it so once i go into the website you can see you people are there with me okay good okay so once i get into the website i can see i have logged in so i can choose the country from which i am so i am from india got it so here these are the things that are there okay got it so you can go through this and you have to select what have any intention to come into the website you just here to explore things like you are here to know the government schemes if there is anything available maybe you are just want to explore things you are not very serious at that stage one then you can call yourself as an individual okay and the other thing you have a lot of knowledge and you want to mentor somebody so you feel like see i am very good in making drones i have extensively studied uh, in depth of drones what kind of circuits is being used what are the electrical necessities and battery necessities of a drone how i have to manufacture or design a fin but i do not um, have haven't done it really so i need an environment where i can put my knowledge and i have people who will be able to design the drone and put it as a prototype then i can become mentor so you can be a mentor here so you can also get into as an accelerator okay so like i told no like who are investors seed investors okay there are government based accelerator or private accelerators so you can come from an in, invest uh, institution like institution is not only university any company can also be called as in, an institution got it so you can come through like that any corporate for example i told the top companies of india like even adani all that for people group can also come in corporate and they can register for making a startup okay so i want to create a startup okay and you can like uh, start an incubator where other people can work and get trained and get seed funded all this stuff or i am an individual investor or a government body okay so let me check with individual let me check okay so i clicked upon this so once i clicked upon this i am going for next step all right so it is asking so i can upload my profile picture uh, my name is bala so it's written i can write about it my age occupation investment okay shall we do this yeah let's do you can go like let me go for it
got it so about myself let me check just taking my sort profile Just putting it, maybe it will accept. My age is 43. Occupation. So you you can see the occupation. You can, as a student, you can in uh, like you can be part of it. As a professional, you can be part of it. As an entrepreneur, you can be part of it. You can be part as an investor, incubator, mentor. Okay, so I'm just one. So I am working, having a job. So what kind of work I am doing? I am working in a government or hyper local or discovery manufacturing. If there is education, I'll put, I can even put research that will also be apt for it. And I can have more than one thing, engineering, got it? So I'm going for next step. Let's uh, so, sorry, Bala, sir, uh, dis for the disturbing. Uh, sir, your voice is coming very slow. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, now it is okay, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. No problem, sir. I will Thank you, sir. Thank uh, you. No problem. Okay. But otherwise, lecture is okay, no, sir? Super, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, so now I'm going for the state. So since I'm in Uttar Pradesh, so I'm taking this state as my state now. Got it? Sorry, if I do fast, it hangs. So I'm clicking upon Uttar Pradesh. After that, I'm selecting the city. I'm from Gautam Buddh Nagar. Got it? So I'm choosing Gautam Buddh Nagar. And they have asked, as usual, we will not read it, but still uh, we will read it now. Got it? So like they just ask for the completeness of the information. This is a caution that is always needed. And it is something called as web ethics we have to follow. And it is a government website. So they have to Nobody is in charge of it. So they have to follow this. So I'm just saving my profile. Got it? So I'm going to, going to my dashboard. It's a simple thing. Got it? So here again, now I, after I have logged in, I have a different view of the thing. Okay, so le let me go. I, I still, abort is same. Resources is same. Network, all that is same. Because I can, schemes and policies is same. Programs, all that stuff is same. Got it? So I can participate in any program. I can be a host. I can host my own program. Please understand it. I can apply for award. I can apply for anything else. Got it? So let me go to the dashboard. Okay, got it. So let me click on this. Startup India Seed Fund Scheme. Okay. So this is some scheme that is there where I can apply startup also. But let me do one more thing that will again make you understand better. I am just going for logout. Okay. Again, I am going to log in. Here I'm putting my username password, which I have already stored. Okay, got it. Let me register. So I will show you how to do other parts then it will be much easier for you. So here I'm using my Gmail. I don't want to waste much of time of you. So I'm using my official ID, getting into it. Got it. So now I have come to the front page. So now I want to go for a different tech. Initially what I did, I went into the system as an individual. Got it? Please understand it. I clicked upon this. 
so as an individual it will show me only things that are needed for me to read and understand bus got it but if i go for a startup let me click on this got it now it will show me a different way got it please understand it now i am going for this next step so i want to have a startup so now what i have to do i have to have a company logo but for time purposes i am just adding my photo as a logo it's okay i think so what stage i am in okay either i am in idea phase validation phase or early traction or scaling so let's think i am a student i just have an idea i haven't validated it also whether it will work or not or i haven't understood the capability of its working over market or how i can scale it i don't know but let me have an ideation phase so here i already have copied the profile i'm having it is this your institution logo yeah i can still say yes what is the name of my startup okay so like let me see like i'm if i am having a startup like i want to do a startup for uh, creating a product that will check elderly people's health without they knowing so i am already working on it like let's think like uh, low oxygen level all that stuff so i want such health thing so let me put health eld health elderly no so i can just put i think there is eld so let put eld health tech so okay got it so who is going to fund it Okay, so it means I do have money. Then it is called as funded. I want money from outside. I am going for bootstrap. Okay, let let me put bootstrap. Next, I'm clicking on next. What? Right, so I'm giving my mobile number. You can also take my mobile number in case of any doubt for you to ask. website okay it is not compulsory i do have but i don't want to waste time again mobile app link okay let me go for the next or industry it should be what uh, i can put analytics or i have to put healthcare okay okay i will analytics is part of healthcare so what i'll be putting is i'll be putting healthcare related to health let me check it should be there healthcare and life sciences sector assistive technology absolutely yes for me services location based or market man marketplace peer to peer platform so it can be for hyper local for anybody udyog yaga okay got it so like if i want to get a udyog yaga other uh, i can go here and register let's see what is udyog okay got it and one more thing government before few months they have told you need not to have a udyog yaga other also but still don't worry i will say what is what got it so this is a website from ministry of micro small and medium enterprises and from here you can get your udyog aadhar and you need not to have much of documents in it what right. so like you can register here for new entrepreneurs who are not registered as an msme or those with em2 you can go for it or if somebody is already having a different status and they want to migrate here they can also have it so they just ask your aadhar number and name as per aadhar card and you can validate in general otp okay this also i will show it for you let me take my other card
sorry for the delay you can also do the parallelly guys two two zero one four three three seven three six five okay I'll be getting an OTP. Let me check it. It's not yet come. All right. So let me type this OTP eighty five twenty six. So they are asking for type of organization. So here I do not want to register it. Maybe when I want to do it really, it should not create a problem. But still, I will be explaining you. There are different types of organization. Okay, so like private limited, public limited, self help group, limited liability. It's a society or a trust, or it is a family business. People will say it's my family business like that, or it's proprietary or Hindu undivided family like that. Okay, so you have to choose which kind of organization. You are going to establish, and you have to type your PAN card. And as a student, you can also have your PAN card. Okay. Now we understood how you have to go for Udyog or the registration. I think you would have understood it. Still, let's go back to our page. Got it. So, I, as I told you, like they have made is not compulsory nature of entity. So let me go for it. No problem. Okay. So when I go for this, I I, I will be asking for uh, same uh, okay Co company identification number. Okay. Got it. So these are certain things you you will be learning today. So when I go for sin number. Automatically, you have to go for a site called MCA. Here, you can register. I'll just tell you the location number. And we have this basic quality, which will make it more active and more uh, like uh, ongoing. All right. So this is again a small task. Okay. So anybody who knows about forms, you will be able to do it. And I will also take the privilege when I go to the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. I will also show you how to do this DSC because next step we'll have DSC. Okay. It is called as Digital Signature Certificate. So whenever you are doing an online transaction, or if you have manufactured a product and you want to sell it across India, then there might be a lot of contracts that has to be done between you and many other multi-party, and you will not be going for any paper, papered one, but you will be going for a paperless transaction. Got it? So during that time, you have to have something called digital certificate. Okay, and there are different classes of digital certificate. So you can get it from government of India, or there are a lot of agencies which will be giving you. Okay. So if I'm going for acquiring digital certificate, digital signature certificate, and I can have a set of certifying authorities who are eligible. You can get the digital certificate from National Informatics Center. You can get from all these agencies, or there are also private agencies. So otherwise, I can go and put get digital. Certificate class one. There are different classes. Class one is the highest. But so I can go here. So they will be giving. I think we have to pay somewhere around thousand, two thousand or two thousand five hundred. Okay. So this can be used for filing your tax or even filing your patent. So they have given you. So it can be used for filing in GST, like MCA. Income tax, patent filing, okay, and more. All right. So as I told, there are. You can take it for an organization. If you have a company, or you can take it for an individual encryption or both together. 
and how long you need to have the certificate you can get it it's just like getting in website portal in portal got it so you have to fill a form for it uh, like Got it. So the form will be like this. Okay, I am showing you that also, so that there is nothing left to be told to you. And uh, hopefully there are hundred plus lot of participants here in Zoom and other people. At least fifty to sixty of you will go for your registration of startups. And there is a possibility that if there is some fees involved in it, and if you haven't very good an idea. And it is going to be part of Galgudi University. There is a possibility that you can even apply for reimbursement of all the fees that are paying for getting the startup done. There is a possibility, uh, unless your idea is not very bad, you can do it. See, you can. Uh, they have applicant name, date of birth, document proofs. Either you can give a passport, any one of this. Okay, you got it. Pan card, Aadhar card, driving license, post office ID card, all this stuff. So you need to have a proof of address. First proof of identity. It means you need to have with photo and address. So once you declare and send it online, you'll be getting your digital certificate. Okay, so I'm closing it. I'm closing this also. Okay, again we are going to our place. So you got it. So we have to find out the nature of the entity. For each of the nature, there. If I'm going for limited liability, again it is asking for SIN number. If I'm going for registered partnership, it is going for PAN number. So I'll take this. I am going for message. Got it? So inside startup, I am registering for a startup. Where? What I am interested in? I am interested in all because I like entering everything. I am liking. Got it? So let me check it. I don't want to take any chances. I am going for my storage of. Profile. Okay, so see, I have used the same mobile number in which I have registered as an email. But otherwise, once I agree with this, I'll be able to go for next. Okay, so if I go here. Now again, I was here, and I go for a startup. Got it. Similarly, I can go for registration of mentor, incubator, all this stuff. Okay. Now let's go here. Now I think everybody understood what is the registration process. Is it so? Now I will explain the same thing in a different perspective, so that how you can register for your own. Okay. For that, I have also made a PPT, which will be working parallelly with it. Okay. Got it. So like. I told you about startup India, like it is evolving, and many many startups are coming year by year, and we are getting into multiple technologies, and more of startups are in AI, biotechnology, and multiple. And what are the facilities government are providing? Okay, so I can't read out every web page. So from the web page, I have taken certain nuances, and I have made a PPT. Got it? Okay, so I don't want to talk upon journey of evolution. It's like just a basic knowledge. So how it has evolved, what kind of industry has come in, and all this stuff. So startup India recognition. We saw how to register, how to fill the form. Okay. So how to get for startup India inside the website? We did see, and how interactive it is. Like the startup India website, we have seen, and it is also based upon states. There has been. A fresh competition going upon between states. You know, I did see a WhatsApp message that said that Andhra Pradesh is the number one state uh, for making the business easy to be conducted. Okay, and other states are also continuing. I just can remember um, the state is number one. Even Maharashtra, all that because they have made sure even Uttar Pradesh is making things easier because they make sure whoever comes with money to invest or create a product with environment friendly. Thing because there are people who come make a product, they will spoil the environment also. Okay, so like 
like that they have come out with this but so they are also giving national startup awards which is again uh, rewarding people who have come out with a different innovative ideas got it so this is small stats okay so you have so many of startups like 41317 startups that have been recognized with dpiit which we saw we have gone to all the websites okay uh, uh bala sir anji sir our audience is um, talking that uh, very low uh, voice is there so okay. can you please uh, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, loudly. I will speak little low, very low voice. Somebody, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, no, no problem, sir. No, it's my duty, sir. <clears throat> okay, sir. So, like, uh, you can see, like, uh, you have four point five lakh jobs being created by means of this, and we have almost four thousand crores of. investment that has been made and you can see we are talking only about the states but we have gone into 590 plus states okay and uh, i was seeing the results of awards that was given in uh, startup okay we are given for startup and during 2020 means they gave in 2021 january and almost all the states have startups even north eastern north eastern states have very good number of startups got it so like uh, the one good thing i want to say uh, like if you are a, 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 like a girl student or a woman faculty lady faculty you have more facility to make a startup and there is a possibility that uh, like you can also spearhead girls in the front to be a pioneer or taking the lead role in startups that will make your uh, tax more exempted and other benefits are also there okay so you can see this Uh, i told you that the startup website is uh, like is also very much connected with this website that is department for promotion of industry and internal trade got it so here one part is startup india you can see i have highlighted here okay so like you can see like you can go and understand policies rules acts internal corporation if, if you are from outside the country or inside the country and you also can know about the right to information act related to startup india so how how people have used it all, all this stuff got it so i think it's okay got it so like we have something called uh, uh, startup india seed fund scheme okay got it so like you can even if you have very good innovative idea and government is also ready to fund you okay they also are ready to give financial assistance other than the angel investor or investors you are looking for okay so if you have a proper proof of concept poc prototype development product trials market entry and commercialization okay so this seed money is available for all this levels or phases got it you have to understand it so what is that uh, requirement okay we have seen through the website but still like for people to understand it i, I can say it again through a diagram so that they will not forget it so you can incorporate your business you can register uh, with startup india you can get dpiit recognition so there is an application which we filled you have to apply it and there are documents needed for registration you can go through it and you can get once you go through it you will be getting a recognition number which is part of that you have a startup so startup will have a trade number or recognition number and you can work on other area okay so the step 1 uh, how to incorporate create your business okay, okay so uh, first you have to say whether your business is a private limited or partnership firm or limited liability okay let me explain this it's very easy to say but when you go through it it is in a different perspective so for that i am taking you to another website which will really guide you very properly it is a private website got it so let me go here okay so 
like you can see that i was explaining you the seven uh, steps okay and i was saying you the first step okay i told you you can either enter as a startup as a private limited company or a partnership firm or a limited liability partnership so when what is a private limited company not many people are from management department so they may not be knowing it okay so you can understand it so private limited company what do you, what do you mean by this okay so i'll show you that okay so it means it is private to yourself so what is that i need to get okay got it so like so, so these are the steps i am going to do if i want to register i have to purchase a plan i have to go for a digital signature certificate application and i have to give a name reservation by means of rent and i have to file e forms with roc and i can get the incorporation certificate got it so what are the data i need to get this certificate so we have a website for it we'll go for it passport said photo of director so there should be a nomination of directors address proof of the directors photo proof self declaration no objection certificate if you are having a physical uh, house or space for doing that you have a rent agreement or pan card aadhar card got it so, so this is a private limited company registration if i am going for partnership firm means private means i am going myself partnership means there are two friends of mine who are also part of this and they are also going to contribute it so when multiple partners decide to term the business and there are some compliances still there so for that i have to go for this so within 10 days i can do it i have to go for a plan i have to go for upload of documents there is a digital vault available with uh, government where i have to upload and give the proof and here again i have to give this proof rent agreement no objection certificate photo proof got it i think now i have made you very clear if i'm going for limited liability partnership means my personal it is different my company is different if the company goes for a loss it doesn't take my personal property okay so it's a firm got it so how it is done again the same step but since i'm going for a company only pan is not needed i will also need to have other things deep in llp and tan applications so you can see the ownership proof will be got out of this got it let us go back to the slide now you'll understand first you have to understand whether you are going for incorporate your business as a private limited plc or partnership or limited liability partnership so there are uh, procedures which i showed you like uh, uh, obtaining certificate of incorporation pan other compliances okay after this is done you can go online and register with startup india because whenever the startup india is asking for any certificate you will be able to provide it we just saw it. so we have to get in to register it will be asking for you otp then after that your profile has to be created and you can apply for various things like whether acceleration incubators or any other challenges okay got it so now the same thing what we saw i have repeated after getting registered with startup india we have to go for the department dpiit recognition okay and it also has a small steps not to get scared okay so here what we are going to do so we can create a website or we can create a profile about our startup and we can get for this recognition okay so what is that it gives once i get dpiit recognition it means that whatever idea i have related to the innovation product i can make it into ipr means i can register a patent so once you have a startup and if you are going for registration of patent almost 80% of the amount that you have to pay for registering the patent has been waived got it 
so and other things you will be getting relaxation of using resources uh, in using public procurement norms or self certification under labor for example for employing somebody again you have to have a certificate that you are not employing uh, children or other people like that we will be getting it <clears throat> okay got it so ec winding of winding of company what do you mean like you have done incubation you have come out to the product i want to close the company after that i have to make it into uh, like it can be made into uh, like uh, a public uh, company all that stuff or uh, if i want to like access to funds or if i go for tax exemption exemption because all the startups are given tax exemption for 3 years got it and if you work on uh, like all the profit you are getting is for you got it so you can click get recognized on the dashboard button to get it done so recognition application details all will be viewed and once you click upon that submit your startup will be recognized got it so again i told you this these are the documents that i have uh, i needed so first you need to have a proof of concept like what i am going to do like uh, it can be a video or it can be a document or it can be a paper published or it can be a patent published so who is part of that company uh, like you can even put mentors from the website incorporation registration certificate which we already got it got it then patent and trademark details pan number all that stuff got it once you get this recognition number got it so like once you submit it online almost within two days we will be getting all them okay got it so and also they have given caution that you have to be very careful while uploading documents because many people just for the purpose of uh, like taking a startup number they will do fake certificate there is also a capital fine on it of 25000 what it so other areas what we can do by means of startup in the website is you can go for patent trademark and design registration and you can get statutory fees cut 80% in reduction fees of for your file and ipr i have already told you funding is available for you and if you can see the total budget the government has so if you are really have a good like idea 100% you will be sure to get it out. okay got it so now i told there are a lot of documents that were asked long back but now uh, the uh, like the startup india website have stopped asking all this because it was again they felt it's unnecessary why they need to once they have other and you also should know like government is planning to make in one like card for everyone they are going to integrate other driving license uh like pan card everything together got it so it's very soon maybe within 6 months everybody will have a single card which you can show like a social security number in usa same like that got it so this car, this procedures have been uh, part of registration now they have taken it off got it so like letter of recommendation no need to recommend you need not to get a recommendation from letter of funding that people usually used to say they get a letter from somebody stating that your idea is good and uh, they will find and that may be a fake also so they have removed sanction letters udyog aadhar msme certificate gsc certificate it is not needed for a startup what it so uh, what kind of uh, company can get incorporated so you you can have already something running but like you haven't uh the company should not be older than 2 years what it so and you should not say i am going to make a product that is already available in the market it should be innovative so you can't say i am going to make a soap which everybody can make or you are going to make a sanitizer which anybody can make without even getting a license because anything that is on body need not to be certified but win body can be should be certified okay so they are also giving preference to startups uh, which creates uh, social impact waste management especially gas textiles railways education all that stuff or given more priority got it so like um, startup should not receive more than 10 lakhs of monetary support got it so that is also is being done 
so other things are more of financial part i don't uh, like i don't want to talk about it so these are the eligibility criteria for incubators got it so as an incubator you have to have at least five startups running under the incubation physically okay then only they'll be able to sanction the amount okay so who does all that there is an expert advisory committee who will be doing all this okay so it, it experts advisory committee will comprise all this people like chairman financial advisors from different different departments which are already i have done okay so when you send a form it doesn't mean that they will approve they will have a meeting and they'll approve upon your idea what is the potential impact novelty and fund utilization all this stuff okay so they also do have guidelines for disbursement of seed funds so once you, you have a prototype it is more likely to get it but right. so these are the rules they have certain timeline that within 60 days of receipts of applications of startups they will be disbursing the seed fund once they like it okay and if you have any grievances that you have not been it has been a biased decision then you will be able to contact them also according to right to information act of india okay got it so you need to uh, have a process of proof concept process of prototype development all this to make a successful startup okay so uh, i am ending this hopefully it was very fruitful we can even go for part 2 of this and uh, i i feel like many of you will uh, really look at having your own startup if you are a faculty or a student and so that you will be able to like come out with something in like advance like because i as i already told people faculty from harvard university stanford institute all the faculty student they have their own startup idea they have startups they have incubators inside the university so with this i complete my lecture uh, over to uh, professor gaurav okay thank you thank you so much sir um, so dear participants uh, you can unmute yourself and uh, ask your question if you have any query uh, one question from mehul tiwari uh, sir there is no option for sole proprietor they can't they apply possible sir sole proprietor can also apply sir because they are an individual so that is what is given on the first step okay so when you are going for sole proprietor you have to apply us i will explain okay uh, any other question yeah, you It can unmute there. yourself and you can ask kirti uh, ma'am kirti ma'am hello yes yes Yes, sir. Uh, my question is that I'm working as EDC in charge of my uh, college, so I just want to know, like, is the funding uh, available uh, from government for establishing incubation center at the institute? Like, uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Government will call for proposal for uh, setting up incubation um, within your university or your place. So during that call, you should be uh, first uh, registering yourself as an individual in Startup India. So whenever there is a call, you should apply for the proposal. they will see whether is there any other incubators near you or you can come out with a novel idea i am going other incubators near me or of different sector so i am going to incubate for a particular sector <coughs> and you can propose some more ideas so that they will give incubation center for you okay thank you sir and one more question like you said that you can uh, there are certain uh, conditions that the uh, startup should be innovative some technical or yes, something yes, like that yes, so but yes, uh, what about the like some some uh, some uh, in case uh, like someone wants to establish some business and need some funding amount then in that case yes ma'am like it may, may may not be technical one uh, no it may not to be technical it can be biotechnical or economical or financial but they want something novel okay so you should not do a process or a product that is already available or well established in the market so it should uh, be very disruptive and it should give some value to the society like that they are 
okay but uh, uh, for that uh, uh, do we have to apply for patent first and then go for startup yes, yes ma'am exactly so once you don't apply for patent they will not take your idea because you might say that i have applied here after that it got leaked and somebody is using so they will ask you to respond to the ipr then go towards funding asking for funding okay thank you sir thank you okay any other question so yes mohan you can unmute yourself yes yes sir yes mohan yes, yes sir yes sir i am a first year student so I... sir in which area should i work see uh, you are a fresher uh, so yes yeah you now you, you can just work on any technology but i will say as i have seen and uh, gaurav sir also has seen lot of startup you can use ai for anything okay so you can work yes. on ai based anything it will be a surely hit and when you complete your third year fourth year you will be able you should be able to create products or you have to create some novel idea so you can take the ai yeah that is my opinion and moreover uh, ai is already available everywhere you need not have a separate infrastructure you can use your mobile to create ai based product yes sir thank you sir okay any we, we are the session is open for the question answer yes gaurav you should unmute yourself to uh, ask sir, your question please type the question i can read out sir my question is that when we travel to anywhere unfortunately the vehicle is getting punctured a lot of problem comes in the vehicle and i want to make an app to connect all the mechanical and the provide bus yeah it's possible yeah that is a big thing like when you go it's a very good idea gaurav uh, kumar uh, like like when you go out to expression yamuna highway or like the eastern peripheral highway like whatever it is okay so you have that thing and i i saw like lot of people even throwing nails so that a gadi will get punctured and they will get it uh, and so there is a possibility you can have an app uh, it is been an unregularized sector is still and once the app is clicked so they will automatically find the gps and come to the place within a particular time so you need not to worry about it or you can have an app like where already the guys are connected so they know where you are going all this stuff so when you call like it, they can automatically come there can be lot of branches or there can be logistic things yeah it's a good idea you can work on it yes yeah, so dear uh, student uh, of galgotia university uh, there is a notice that uh, you can find your idea submission form on lms as well as on the website our e cell member and iic cell member mayank will coordinate with you if you have any idea and you if you want to start your startup then please meet to me in the or incubation center in the b block of golgotti university where uh, admission cell is also running so uh, you can meet me or you can meet to the any uh, Mem lead member of e cell uh, that is isan mayank is there so mayank will coordinate with you if you have any query any question then you can ask related to galgotia university e cell and um, incubation cell So, so hello everyone. Yeah, yes. Yeah, and we also want your participation with us. We also want your collaboration with us to join IIC and ESL and help our university to grow forward in the field of startup and uh, in the field of uh, innovations. 
so i am also sending a link in the chat box if you are interested to join us in iic you are invited there and if you have any doubt regarding iic or isl you may definitely contact me god of sir or any of the iic member thank you sir okay thank you um now i would like to facilitate our invited speaker professor balamurgan sir uh, sir bala sir thank you professor yes, yes sir sir please please accept uh, yes, a moment of honor yes sir on the iic on the behalf of iic family thank you sir thank you thank you thank you so much sir sir thank you for you sir so i am leaving sir thank you sir good okay, day okay thank you so much sir perfect sir are uh, there is a krishna kumar if you have any query please ask krishna kumar what is mandatory uh, i didn't get you am i audible to you krishna kumar <laughs> 